New tonight, a Buncombe County family narrowly escaped their flooded home. Crews had to pluck them off their roof during the storm. This window in their laundry room was the only way the family of four could get out of the house and onto their roof. Their home was hard, in hard hit Swannanoa, east of Asheville. WRL's Willie Danley spoke to them and is live with the story. Willie. Ashley, I actually got goosebumps hearing the story of the Zara family. With two young children, they narrowly escaped those floodwaters by climbing onto the roof of their house before hours later, one of their neighbors rescued them with a kayak. By the way the water was rising and the, the quickness of it, that nobody was going to be coming to get us out of our house. Mm -hmm. This is what's left of John and Stephanie Zara's home in Swannanoa after Hurricane Helene caused catastrophic destruction in the area. Mud caked on the floor and walls, furniture toppled over, parts of the home seemingly in disrepair. The couple, who have a two-year-old and a seven-year-old, tell me they had no clue how bad the storm was going to be. When they realized they were in danger, they quickly retreated to higher ground, climbing into the attic, but the water continued to rise. He said, we have to go now. Leave the pets, we have to go. And our doors would not open. They were shut. We could not even open the doors. None of the calls to 911 were going through. Somehow, Stephanie was able to get in touch with her sister Jessica in South Carolina. I could hear her running through the house in a very rushed voice. And she was telling me in a panic, water is rushing in the house, call 911. And then the call dropped. Jessica was transferred to several counties before getting in touch with Bumcombe Dispatch, who told her all the first responders were busy with similar calls. The family of four knew then that help wasn't coming anytime soon. While we were on the roof, we watched it rise and rise and rise, and we just kept praying, please do not you know, go above. I mean, we were so inches away from losing, you know, it all. Like After hours of shouting for help, a neighbor on a kayak came to their rescue. The Zara family is now safe, staying with family in South Carolina. Not only did they lose their home, they've also lost income because they ran a business from their house. And like many people living in the mountains, they did not have flooding insurance. So a family member has started a GoFundMe to help with some of their expenses at this time. Visit WRL.com to find out how you can help. In Raleigh, Willie Danley, WRL News. The panic they must have been feeling. Wow.